How do you solve this? Pag-usapan natin yan in this new Learn with Laika video. Now, before we go on, very important na napanood nyo na yung ating lesson on finding the LCM, transforming fractions, and adding and subtracting fractions. Kasi all those three ay gagamitin natin to solve this. Now, ang goal natin ay pagparehuhin yung kanilang denominator. Dahil hindi mo pwedeng i-add o i-subtract ang fraction kung hindi sila pareho ng denominator. So, using yung LCM, ang uh, malalaman natin na ang uh, least common multiple or dahil denominator siya LCD ng dalawang fractions na ito, ay 6. So, kailangan gawin kung over 6 pareho sila. Yung 1 half, itatransform natin, magiging 3 over 6. Yung 1 third, magiging 2 over 6. At ngayon, pwede ko na sila i-add. So, you have 3 plus 2 is 5. Ikakopy mo lang yung denominator over 6. Lowest terms naman na rin siya. So, the answer is 5 over 6. Again, kailangan pareho muna sila ng denominator. Ganon din sa subtraction. So, now, it's your turn. Paano to? Paano isolve Ito. Now, before we proceed, ang pinaka-importante part nito is knowing kung ano yung tawag dun sa parts ng isang fraction. Ang number na nasa itaas ay tinatawag nating numerator at ang number na nasa ilalim ay tinatawag nating denominator. Now, when it comes to adding and subtracting fractions, dapat pareho sila ng denominator or yung number na nasa ilalim. So, kung pareho naman sila, all we have to do is to add or subtract yung numbers na nasa taas Sa case na ito, we have 4 over 7 plus 2 over 7. So, that would be 4 plus 2, which is 6. Tapos, kukopyahin lang natin yung denominator or number sa ilalim. So, ang sagot ay 6 over 7. Kung isusubtract naman natin, again, same numbers, 4 over 7 minus 2 over 7. We have 4 minus 2, which is 2. Tapos, ikukopya lang natin yung nasa ilalim, which is 2 over 7. Yan na yung sagot. Now, it's your turn. Paano ito? Comment mo nga and don't forget to follow me for more. In an older video, napag-usapan na natin kung paano mag-subtract sa mga fractions. Pero paano naman if you're subtracting a fraction from a whole number? Now, if you look at our example right here, we have 10 minus 13 over 25. There are two options na pwede kong i-offer sa inyo pagdating sa pagsusolve nito. Yung first one is on the traditional side. Medyo mahaba, lalo na if you're dealing with big numbers. Yun ay ganito. Yung 10... Iko-convert muna natin siya into an improper fraction. Ibig sabihin nun, yung 10, multiply ko siya sa 25 or the denominator of yung fraction na binabawas natin sa kanya. So, magiging 250 over 25. Okay? So, again, iko-convert mo muna yung whole number into an improper fraction. And then, after you do that, now that you have 250 over 25, I can now subtract yung 13 from 250 which will give me 237. Tapos, yung 237 over 25, i-convert ko pa siya ngayon para maging mixed number siya. Na itong method na ito, hindi ko masyadong gusto. Kasi when it comes to subtracting a fraction from a whole number, mas madali if you do it like this. Okay? Now, watch closely. Yung 10, gagawin muna natin siyang dalawang bagay. Ano yon? Kukuha ako ng 1 from 10, so may iwan na lang yung 9. Tapos yung 1 na yon, pwede ko na siya i-convert into any form ng fraction na madali kong isusubtract yung 13 over 25. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Magiging 9 plus 25 over 25. Now, yung 9 and 25 over 25 ba e 10 din? Yes. Bakit? Kasi you have 9 and then yung 25 over 25 is just 1. Okay? Now, now that I have that, Pag binawas ko yung 13 over 25, kukunin ko na lang siya dun sa 25 over 25, which will give me 12 over 25. Napag-usapan natin yan ngayon, noon kapag pareho sila ng denominator, isusubtract mo lang yung mga numer numerator. So again, ang magiging sagot would be 9 and 12 over 25. Tapos ka na agad. Mas mahaba kasi yung isang method. Okay? Pero you can choose kung ano yung nag-work best for you. Now, it's your turn. Paano to? Solve mo nga. Comment yung sagot ninyo and don't forget to follow me for more. Alright, so thank you for watching till the end of this video. If you want to learn more, if you want to watch the other videos I'm going to be making, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Turn your notifications for all the updates that we have. Again, marami pa tayong pwedeng pag-usapan soon. And uh, thank you for joining the team 
I know this community has been kind to me for the past six years now, and I'm so happy that I get to welcome you as part of this team as well. Thanks, guys, and uh, I'll see you soon.